hate its Diego theme should develop. Today we're going to be talking about wiggle grams. I talk about them pretty frequently on my Instagram and on my YouTube. Obviously, if you follow it, you know what I'm talking about. Basically, you get the four images taken with the Nashika N8000 on film. You scan them, you place them together, and then you make the image. I'm going to link a tutorial on how to get to this level, but what I'm going to be talking about is how to get to this level. First to start off, um, this is a little bit of an advanced tutorial in a sense. I am using a Wacom drawing tablet, so you can see that it's much easier for me to draw on the image itself. I have no problem. I can just doodle. You could do it with the computer mouse, but I can imagine this taking a really good amount of time. So, and I think I messed it up. The best way to think about it is basically in transparent layers. So do you remember back in the day in school when you used to have overlays over the little thing that would display on the screen and you just put it and write something and go later. And if you wanted to do something over it, you'd put another one and then layer something over. So just imagine that they're transparencies. You're laying one down and then one on top of it and then one on top of it. Um, I would obviously get comfortable with Photoshop if you haven't already so you can get some of the shortcuts and things down. Um, but this is, you know, I've been doing this for a long while. I've been doing kind of this style. Um, it's kind of like a grime style for a long while, and so um, look into kind of that. I don't think there's any tutorials on that either, but um, if you have any questions, let them down below. Um, I'll actually show you my first attempt. Alright, so this is my first attempt. Um, I took it slow. There's the original, and then piece by piece, put it together, and then undid it. Okay, I'm going to show you really quick how I actually do some of these things. Okay, and with a good size brush to where the thickness isn't too bad, you're gonna outline the features, like so. It's, you can just, like so. I'm obviously doing it very crudely. Right, and so once you get that done, pretty much it's gonna take you a long while, but you're gonna get just about this. And then when you take away everything else, you'll see if you're missing any parts or any parts are incomplete, Obviously for like the braids, we kind of left that part clean just for the color to go through, but really simple. Okay, once you have the outline, pretty much you can see some of the lighter parts. You can just outline some of the lighter parts, and obviously you can use a bigger brush to save you some time. There you go. And just parts like that. You obviously want to stay in between the lines and just get the pieces that you think is going to be fit. You're going to be doing this process four more times, so um, you can be conservative. You can take as much effort and time as you want. Pretty much you're going to have to do it four times, so just be weary of that. Okay, so with the same process with the blue, I went with the teal. It kind of showed some deeper accent. And then once that was all done, I pretty much filled in this extra part where the black was with just the base layer. So once I get here, hit with the base layer. And there you go. And obviously with the face and things, you can do as much or as little detail as possible. It's up to you. I like to go really minimal, considering if I get too close, it's definitely going to be too weary on my hand. I'm going to take a long time. I'm forgetting a part there. And so, and so yeah, that's pretty much the process. Here, I pretty much finished the frame and then duplicated it and then took off some of the bone layers. So to get that flash effect, I think it was two and three were nothing, and then four, I took out five, and then the rest of these had the bone layers. Keep in mind, I did animate each one of these frames, but only four times. Since there's four pictures, you animate them. The fifth one, you use the third frame. The sixth one, you use the second frame, and then the, by the time you get to six, it'll loop back around. It's kind of how wiggle grams work. Um, again, you have to be comfortable first with wiggle grams in general, and then start building and adding on to this. Um, I'm not trying to get keep this or trying to put people down or discourage them, but I definitely were even showing them that it is kind of a process that it does take a lot of bit of time, but I do want people to get more into it. Um, that's why I'm making this tutorial. I will try to answer as many comments and questions as I can because I think this is cool and I want to share this information with everybody. So, yep, that's pretty much it. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe. I'm going to put one other example. Done. It was a little bit more minimal. This one's a little bit more of a 
better example, I guess, of what you can do. A little bit um, higher end or one took a little bit more time. But yeah, that's pretty much it. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe. We have tons of different content like this, things people aren't really talking about, film cameras or applications that mimic film cameras. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Keep shooting film. Take care. Peace.